Tom, earlier this year when Bosch rolled out the new exterior version of the 360 and 180 panoramic cameras, we talked about it. We had an opening box. We went over all the mounting considerations and things like that. Right. We spoke about how the, the new version of it will mount to any of the universal Bosch mounts that are available that worked with the 8000i series camera. Correct. So in what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about some of the Bosch mounts versus some of the mounts that we that we came up with to solve some problems that we've run into over time yep. when it comes to using these exterior panoramic cameras. And out of the box, we can mount them like this, a surface wall. We can mount them surface pendant or overhead. And then we do have an option for a wall arm. Or but, pendant, or just pendant, a standard correct. pendant from a pipe. But what were some of the issues that we had with these standard mounts? So one of the things we came across was when you are mounting a camera in a configuration that's flat on the wall like the one that you have over there, there was too much of the, the skyline in the picture and the customers weren't getting some of the lower area at, near the base of the building or near correct. the base of whatever they were mounting it to yep. in that configuration. And so we came up with that. Some of the other considerations that we had were overhead um, mounting it from uh, the base of a parking garage. You know, mm -hmm. the, the honeycomb type ceiling where there's either a, a beam in that stress right. concrete or a square that they, you know, that we were mounting it. Yep. And they don't want you to drill holes in certain places and do certain things yeah. like that. Um, exterior on a pole mount. Um, yep. We have those configurations, a corner mount as well, yep. where we can, you know, angle the unit to be able right. to cover different type of angles and get more of what a customer mm -hmm. wants to see closer into the base of the pole or the, the right. building or whatever you're mounting it to or just a wall that you're mounting it to. Yep. So, so the first mount that we get into is, you know, and again, standard wall, uh, wall mount surface, as you said, too much Flat. sky, uh, not enough underneath. So the first mount that we really came up with was this guy here. And the nice thing is it can go straight back. So you're getting complete horizontal or you can adjust it as the installer to all the way through to 45 degree, any point in between. So you can adjust it exactly what your needs are. So this way you can take as much sky out or as much as you want underneath and find that perfect point, lock it down and you get exactly the angle that you want. So it makes it very user friendly and installer friendly for a mountain bracket that's going right up against the wall. I think one of the best things for that mount is um, variable height. Yep. When customers don't know how high they want to mount it, that's where we kind of run into trouble with some of this stuff is mm -hmm. that, again, if it's a little bit lower, um, it's, in the, it's in the reach of people, yep. but if we want to get it a little bit higher, then we start to get less and less Fair. of that, of that uh, base area yep. underneath of the camera. So that mounts great for that yep. when you're mounting to that flat vertic or vertical surface mm -hmm. and you need to ga gain more area on the ground. Yep. And Steve, what we got into before also with a wall arm, a standard wall arm just doesn't give you the flexibility, the oh. tilt angles or Straight anything down. you need. So you're only getting, plus you're losing Egg. because you're mounting it to exactly. the wall. Exactly. So, so the new wall arms, if you can show what the advantages are on, on those, and you can see here, we're able to tilt them up. We're able to, so tilt up, we're able to pan them, get pretty much any variables that you have. So again, as you can see, if the camera is mounted on here, we can start from a complete horizontal all the way up to pretty much close to vertical and turn the camera any way you want. And you'll see it locks down from the top for your pan and then also then for your tilt on this side. So again, gives you a lot of flexibility to the point where you can see it mounted here with an outdoor uh, shroud without a shroud, and then even here mounted to, like you say, you talked about in a parking garage, where do you mount them to? Sometimes you don't have a wall, you gotta go overhead. Right. We so. talked a little bit about, you know, mounting it to the side of, the, of that um, stress concrete, or you can mount it again from the bottom of it or from, um, from up inside of the honeycomb itself. So the flexibility of this mount adds a lot. Plus, again, cable way through, you can come bring them from the sides, you can bring them through the bottom. So your cables can be uh, hidden. We also have a pole mount adapter. So again, this then mounts right up to the pole. Nice, simple, easy. And then also we have a corner mount adapter, which again mounts right up. 
to into a corner with a wall. So you get full adjustability with any of these brackets and mounts for any of these cameras. So again, whatever your needs are, there's a solution for you. So a couple of key differences, just because a lot of things sort of look the same here. Mm -hmm. This one mount is, like as you had mentioned, this is kind of just a standard no shroud or no sun shield mm -hmm. looking thing. Basically a, fat, a flat back mm -hmm. mount plate. This mount is a little bit different. Uh, this mount has the screw on adapter. So uh, effectively it's a pipe mount. It's a short pipe nipple. Right. Screws right onto any of the uh, the camera series that use the universal mounting gotcha. adapters that Bosch offers for all the different variety of cameras. Mm -hmm. One of the cool thing is you don't necessarily have to use this with a 180 or a 360 camera. There's no reason if you don't if you would were, were to run into a situation with the 8000i or any of the other cameras that these mounts wouldn't operate fine mm -hmm. with that as well. These standard back plates are made to um, and have the whole mount kits for those other right. cameras as well. Um, and one other thing, the all of the mounts come with a hardware kit mm -hmm. to be able to take the standard Bosch configuration and, and adapt it to the things that, gotcha. that you need to adapt it to here with some of the tooling and things mm -hmm. like that as well. I guess one of the other questions is where can I find information on these? Because again, these are mid chest mounts, you know, these specifically, where can I find the information? So um, as always, www.midchess.com. Um, and there's a, a section on there for the electronic store. You can go right on there. Mm -hmm. You can get all the measurements, all the information, print whatever documentation that you need as well. There's a e-store on there that yep. you, you can purchase the amounts from. And there. when in doubt, if you can't find the information, give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we're there to help you any way possible. We are also doing, there's going to be a bunch more videos on these was actually live video. So you actually get to see the camera in performance on the pan, the tilt, what the you roll. get out exactly. of the flexibility that the mounts yep. offer you. Yeah, so you'll see the difference between something like this versus something like this and the flexibility that it brings. So again, for a couple dollars more, get the right mount for the right application. Get the best flexibility you can. Yep. All right, let's head outside. Okay.